Fight Night Round 3 on the Xbox 360 is a great way to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the greats from history. Frazier's counterwacks his opponent. I'm seeing a KO for Holyfield. Mickey Ward's gone down for the first time today. What do I like about it? Well, fighters past and present. Roberto Stone Fist Duran, Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, even Ricky Hatton. You can have everyone on there short of Rocky Balboa. It's great. Uh, you say it's got all the fighters, but where's Tyson? You know, I've wanted to play this guy for years, and he just never appears in any of these games. I mean, he's one of the greatest boxers, or well, most infamous boxers of, of, you know, the last couple of decades, and he's just nowhere to be seen. I think that really lets the game down. The graphics are absolutely fantastic. The textures on the skin, the tattoos, the players' faces is really impressive. Uh, I was particularly impressed with the contortions on the face when a player gets a knockout punch. Oh, he goes down! Tremendous haymaker ferociously lays him out. He's not going to get up quickly from that one. The look of the game is, is fabulous, as we've come to expect. I mean, it's a true next-gen game. The textures, the faces look pretty much photo-real in a lot of places. A couple of times, it's let down by jerky movements with some of the players, and particularly the knockouts when you get the slow-mo of the player going down. The initial part with the punches in slow-mo, it's great, really nice little rippling on the face and the blood coming out. But then when he falls down, repeated about two or three times, it's like, um, it's like a stick puppet, really, just getting stuck on the ropes and things. It doesn't quite work and lets it down a little bit. So a little you know, room for improvement there, but um, it's pretty impressive. What's new about the game? It's the new analog control system. What this does is let you have some intuitive control as to how you flow with your punches. It's a really good feature of the game. Yeah, controls are great. They've really redesigned uh, the way you play these characters. Um, it's all done with the thumbsticks now. Um, it's really intuitive. You just you know, push it in one direction for a jab and another for a left jab and round for a, for a hook. Works really, really well. One thing is, when you're up against the ropes and getting beat, you can tend to resort to button bashing. Just keep bashing away, trying to get yourself out of trouble. Maybe that could be improved. Like Paul said, you can do a bit of the old uh, throw as many punches as you can and hope for the best. And a lot of the time, that will see you through. But what I do like is, if you've played the game a bit, there's that extra level to take up. So you can learn a few specialised moves, like how to switch your stance and then learn a few combos. So there's something there for beginners and experienced players as well. It's great. Another really good feature of the game is you can look uh, at real-life bouts from the past through uh, ESPN Classic Video. Um, it's a nice feature. Joe Frazier is known for his left hook, but to say that's all he has would be a gross understatement. He has great stamina and a relentless body attack, and that's what finished off most of his opponents. Kill the body, and the head will die. In two-player mode, the game really comes into its own. Playing with friends, um, it's great fun. Causes loads of arguments as you uh, argue about who won rock round, watching the stats at the end. Um, it gives you a big breakdown of uh, the shots thrown and uh, the percentage of the punches that hit. Uh, it's great. Um, it's good fun. Yeah, the one thing I don't like about the game is the fact that it's, you, can, you can make an illegal move and forfeit the game, which means you'd lose. What's that about? Yeah, it's called an illegal move because it's illegal. Uh, and you can only do a headbutt or an elbow to the face or a knee to the groin if the ref's not actually looking. If you try it too many times and he sees you, game over. That's the rule. Holyfield's got to take a deep breath and relax. He's obviously disappointed with this disqualification. One thing I didn't like about the game was the not-too-subtle product placement. Uh, the game is literally littered with uh, Burger King and Dodge logos. I mean, apparently, I haven't got that far yet, but you can unlock the Burger King mascot to uh, become your trainer. Stinks a bit to me. Overall, Final Night 3 really builds on EA's past performance to land a knockout blow. This is top stuff. I give it 8 out of 10. Final Night 3 on the Xbox 360, it's a great, fun game. Comes into its own with friends. Um, I will give it, I'm with Paul Vale, I'll give it 8 out of 10. To sum up, uh, this is as close to boxing as a game has come, but like I said, it's the only game that's tried to come close to boxing, so 7 out of 10 for me. To wrap it up, I'd say that Fight Night Round 3, if I was to mark it out of 10, being a beginner, enjoying it, I'd have to give it at least 6. No, make that 7. Wow, Frazier's down after taking a huge shot. 